Hey guys, Fajrim101 here, back with a Pokemon Battle Spot video for you. And today we've got a bit of a special one. This was a team battle that happened on Spinner94's live stream on Valentine's Day. And uh, me and him have teamed it before. You can find some of those videos down in the channel um, mm. later on. I think it was mid last year. And um, we're actually looking at trying to do a multi battle stream at some point with the two of us. So I'll let you know when that's going live and when that's happening. We're just trying to pin a date down at the moment. Uh, Spinner94 is a fantastic up and coming Pokertuber. Um, definitely go and check his channel out. I'll link it in the description down below. He's just coming up to 600 subs. He does live streams most Saturdays and occasionally on a Sunday as well. Um, mm -hmm. So definitely go and check him out. Um, he's a fantastic battler and really knows his stuff and a really funny guy. So uh, we're going to be against uh, Kimiko, Kimiko, Kimiko and Luna. I'm really bad at names. I need to get better. Uh, Kimiko and Luna, who are bringing me with some interesting ones. But we'll just quickly run through mine and spin this team first. So um, we had no way of communicating during this match as well. So what made that this really interesting was trying to. Work out what each other's plays were going to be as well as what our opponents were as well, so we didn't keep tripping over each other. Which, on and off, we did. We tripped over maybe once or twice, but we didn't do too badly overall. So, um, as you can see, I'm bringing me uh, Play-Doh, Milo, Lamuck, um, Elron, our bulky as hell, Melotic, um, and Falcor, our Drampa. And Spinder is bringing with him Pokemon mm. Master, his Mio Stick, uh, Mango, his Dragonite, and Yo Boy, Gu Yo Boy Guzma. Um, he's Gossipod. Uh, Kimiko is bringing with him her Ninetales, Decidui, and Garchomp. And then Luna is bringing with him um, his Lucario, Flygon, and Minon. Minon? Minus? Minon. Minon. So without wasting any more time, guys, we'll jump straight into the battle for you. Um, so I very nearly actually bought Arcanine to this match when I was selecting the team that we were going to use to do this battle. Uh, unfortunately I didn't bring it because it would have been really handy to shut this Lucario down. But um, we're going to have to just try and play around it a little bit. As Luna does actually open up with the Lucario. And we see Camus come out which is the Nine Tails. And so we've got a nice shiny Lucario on the field. Um, I'm actually going to open up with Play-Doh, my muck, and Spin's going to open up with Pokemaster. So we're going to make a hard read here. Ninetales is going to do Ninetales things, which is going to set up Aurora Veil, and Play-Doh can pretty much wall it. So um, I didn't think, and um, Pokemon Master usually t ray something, so I figured he'd probably go after the Lucario, and the Lucario would take that opportunity to switch out into Flygon. So we make a hard read here and actually go for a knockoff on the switch. And um, so we actually recall this right. So we see Draco come in here um, as Spin goes for a t ray but manages to... Um, get blocked by Draco's ground ability. Ninetales is doing Ninetales things, but as long as we've got Play-Doh around, Ninetales isn't really a threat to us at the moment. And I'm guessing this is probably more a supportive set. Um, as we make the right call, we get a knockoff off. That does a turn of damage due to the critical hit. Play-Doh really, and we see its choice of guard. So this thing is now uh, nerfed a little bit as Howl goes down. Um, so we're gonna make another call this turn. I figured that we probably want to EQ with Draco to try and deal with Muck, because Muck is potentially quite a big threat on against their team. Um, so we're just going to go for Protect here, uh, and I'm really counting on Spindle at this point to actually go after this Draco and KO it with something. Um, so we're going to see, yeah, so um, Nantaz is actually going to fire the Protect off here. Uh, is we're going to protect ourselves predicting the EQ. Um, the super obvious EQ is super obvious. Um, does go for the EQ, obviously Muck and Nantaz aren't going to take any damage from it due to the Protect. Pokemaster should live this, I think he probably could live one. Um, as he does go for a Psychic, so we managed to just manage to read each other quite well there, as, Poke as um, Spinder polishes off the Flygon, which means that Mux can have a little bit of an easier time out here. Mm. Um, so with that out of the way, we figured, you know what, it's probably time to start dealing some damage out mm. to these Nine Tails now. Um, just to try and stop it doing what Ninetales does. As we see Minu come out, so I'm not too fussed about this, I'm max special defense, so even if it wants to hit me with a ridiculously big move, we'll be fine. Uh, we see three drives from Camus, that's actually going to ignore Muck and target down Pokemaster, which does a decent chunk of damage here. As Pokemaster does go for a Psychic on the Minu, which does an absolute, gets another crit, does an absolute butt ton of damage. And we see an incoming Z move here, so this is going to be Gigavolt Havoc uh, from the menu. I was kind of hoping this was going to target me because I was interested to see how much it would do and um, to a max special defense mark. I don't think it would have done a lot to be fair, I think we would have lived this quite well. It may have just been enough to pop our berry, but I don't, again, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'll have to wait and find out another day, I suppose. 
Uh, that is going to absolutely destroy Pokemaster though. Robot's quite low after the freeze dries made double into him. It does enable up Muck to get a free poison jab off though into the nine tile slot. And even with Aura Valor, that's going to do an absolute ton of damage to it. So with that Aura Valor, we may have actually beat up the KO. Maybe not, I'm not sure. Yeah, probably. Uh, we're going to take Hail damage. As we're going to see Yo Boy Guzma come out here. So I actually go for a Shadow Sneak on the minion, hoping Spin is going to target down his nine tiles with the first impression, because I can't really touch it. Um, however, Spin to target down the minion, which is, yeah, minion is a threat though, particularly to his bun, so that makes sense. Um, we probably should have poison jabbed here, to be fair. We actually go for a Shadow Sneak, so we're trying to target down that minion down. And we do a nice little chump, but we could have picked up the KO there. As Freeze Dry is going to be on for poison jab. Freeze Dry is going to connect on the Guzma. It doesn't do too much though. And this hail damage is really starting to rack up now. Hail is annoying. Uh, as we see Star Fox come out here, so. So, we actually make a misplay here. We actually go for. We see, uh, we predict the protect on the nine tiles, but we actually go for a knockoff on the Lucario. Um, I kind of forgot that just tried. Um, I just wanted to get some damage off and figured it might be banded, so it might be an idea to get rid of its choice band. Um, it's good. We actually see it's live orb, um, but the E-Speed actually activates Guzma's emergency exit, which means he's not going to get any damage off at all and brings out his Dragonite. So, uh, we do get a knockoff off. Um, unfortunately that is going to activate, activate, activate Justified which potentially drops us in the mess, mess a little bit. Still not too massively concerned having a banded Dragonite on the field though to be fair. Uh, and we've still got some bulk in the back, that just means I can't bring Fal don't really want to bring Falcor in on this thing at all. Um, E-Speed is going to target down KMS, I really hope mm. that Spindle is going to target down this Lucario to be fair at this point. Um, because I had a feeling a close combat was incoming and mm. look unfortunately yeah, it isn't going to look that. So we could have protected, um, predicting that, but uh, unfortunately, Mucky's going to drop down. Um, I did think he might target down the Dragonite, to be fair, as we see the Chomp come out. So that's a big problem for us. So thankfully, Alron's here, so we can go out into Amelotic. Um, the key thing is for us right now is speed control. We need to slow both these mons down to give us any chance of winning. So, uh, Spinder, I'm screaming at my screen, just please just e-speed that thing. It's at minus one, you'll kill it. Um, but he does actually switch out into Guzma. Um, and Guzma unfortunately takes a stone edge in the face on the switching, which does a ton of damage to Guzma and one shots it into next week. So, Dragonite probably would have lived that. Um, we see a close combat, that is going to target Melotic Dem, which is why I was desperately wanting him to re-speed the um, Lucario. But this thing's now at minus two. We live on two though, I don't know how Melotic lived that, plus one. He's, I know this thing's balking it still. Um, we do get this crucial icy wind off though, so um, I'm really hoping now that means Dragonite could be able to come in and outspeed these things, particularly that gosh darn Lucario and the uh, Garchomp. Um, we haven't got Protect on Melotic unfortunately, and there's no way I was going to drop Dramper in. So I'm going to click recover here on the hopes that um, they both double into the, potentially double into the Dragonite with the E-Speed and then Dragon Claw. Um, so we see the E-Speed but he doesn't, he actually targets their Melotic to pick up the kill there. Um, it might have been easy to better, maybe even a better play maybe to break the um, multi-scale on it but Dragon Claw is going to connect, that is going to one shot Shino. Um he is a crit, I don't think the crit mattered to be fair because this is a banded max attack out of the Dragonite so. I don't think the crit matter there. Um, the Garchomp is going to go down. The biggest problem we've now got and the Aurora Val has gone, so that's great news for us. Um, we're going to see Alinois come through. Alinois? Aeolos. Aeolos, maybe. Um, the Decidueye coming in. Uh, as we go out into Falcor, so I really don't want to bring Falcor in on this thing at all, so I'm going to click Flamethrower because it hits both. I'm going to really hope the Dragonite can get a um, Dragon Claw off on this thing, which does pick up the KO at minus two, thankfully. Um, so our flamethrower will now connect on with the Decidueye instead. Um, we're going to see a Swords Dance go up. Go up. Um, but this thing's not particularly quick and I'm not that worried at this precise moment to be fair. I don't think this thing can do a lot, too, particularly on 2 on one uh, Flamethrower is going to connect. That is going to do a turn of damage and just barely miss picking up the KO as we see the Citrus Berry. Um, so this is, must be a bulkier set or I got a low roll because that should have one-shotted it. Um, However, really good play, so it's 2 1. So I'm just going to click Flying Thrower again. Uh, Mango's going to outspeed the Cedarate because unfortunately Dramper is really slow, but that is going to pick up the KO and win us the game. 
So a clutch ice has been going off there from Lotic living on two, pretty much sealed that game up for us, thankfully, um, because that Lucario was scary. As I say, as soon as I saw that thing on the tip come out of the team, I really was beginning to wish I brought my Arcanine and I just to shut it down. Um, hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Please go ahead and check, make sure you check out Spin the Night Force channel. The link is in the description. If you enjoyed this match, please go ahead and leave a like. It really helps the channel out and is massively appreciated. Leave any comments in the comment section down below. And if I don't see you around, I will see you on Battle Spot. Take care for now. Bye. Oh, my God.